Thanks so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Hey, hey guys everyone. and welcome to our nursery. If you've been following along on our videos, you'd have seen that we are currently doing up our house and I think we've left the funnest room for last. So we're currently standing in our nursery. We're currently using it as a, a dumping ground, but yes. I think the first thing that we need to do is probably get all this stuff out and give this place a fresh coat of paint. My heart's a little bit dizzy since you spread your magic like a pixie light. So I'm pretty sure the previous owners did use this room as a nursery as well, guessing from like the stickers they've put on here. And there is one thing that we did change early this week. We needed to get like an electrician in here. They had like this cute train. Alrighty, just doing some prep. Tomorrow we've got an electrician coming in, a local guy to come and swap this out. And we're gonna just take, get rid of the blinds. Luckily we still have the shutters so we can keep it quite dark in here. We're gonna get rid of the blinds, put up a curtain rail for us. But we've now swapped it like this to match more of our lighting in our house. First task is kind of to prepare this wall for new paint. Is this <laughs> gonna be hard? I think it could be. What the? Do you reckon need some sugar soap? I don't know. Oh, it's no. like ripping off, like, you know, stickers are already annoying. Ugh. Oh no, this is gonna take a while. Oh, wait, here we go, here we go. You got a bit? Satisfying rip? Um, it's kind of pulling the paint off, but. That's all right. <laughs> oh, all right, that's this morning's task. Alrighty, totally doesn't look like we've ripped off the stickers because now it has left this perfect like paint marking on there, but first task is done. Alrighty, we have now prepped the room extra carefully because it's carpet. I'm <laughs> now it's time to change this room. We've decided we're gonna go for a bit of white and then we'll show you how we're gonna splash some colour in. two days I think it took about three or four coats but we officially covered the dark walls they are now nice and bright and white no more owl but I do have a funny story to tell you because halfway through painting this room we ran out of paint and where we actually found the paint was in our garage so last week we have two walls in the house and they were orange and we wanted to paint them white. So we're rummaging through the garage and we found this big tin of white paint and we're like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. So we used it for both of the walls, painted them up, thought they looked great, came in here, started using the same paint and then we ran out. So Stephen went to Bunnings with a picture of our paint can. And he said to the lady, oh, hey, so we just want to get this um, paint can again in the exact same color. And she was like, oh, okay. So if you turn around, see that wall behind you full of primer? Yeah, that's what you've been using. <laughs> so our feature walls in our house are primer white. That's what we're calling it now because we're not repainting it. And uh, yeah, we just realized that we've been using primer the entire time. So this is the first room that actually has a coat of actual white paint on it. Um, it just says like two coats of primer underneath. <laughs> So I feel like today is gonna to be the fun day. This is the day that we're actually putting the nursery together, adding the popper colors. Do you drop a screw? <laughs> no. And um, Stephen's trying to be a handyman. <laughs> Wait, is that right, Steve? Um, oh yeah, 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 sorry. <laughs> yes, it's all right. So first thing first is we need to put up some curtains. Captain America, everyone's wondering. It's quite nice, so what we thought we would do is for some pop of colour first is to get these pink, um, kind of like linen curtains. They're only $30 from Spotlight, very cheap. And if you're wondering how this is going to block all the light, because it is quite nice, I kind of like curtains where if you close it, it still brings some light into the room. But if you want it completely closed and dark for the baby, 
our house actually came with what are they called? Shutters. Yeah. So I can actually roll a shutter down, which can black out the whole room, which is so handy. Like for a nurse around, no people know you want to make like a nice dark room. Boom. That's so cool. And the, the curtains look so nice. You know the next step? This is, wall? Yeah. It's time to make our feature wall. So when we were working out what we wanted to do with the feature wall, initially we were thinking of getting wallpaper and then I was trying to imagine Stephen and I putting up wallpaper and all I could picture was bubbles and it really not working. Like, I, <laughs> I don't think we're wallpaper people. So what I did was I was Googling online and I actually found these decals and I bought like a bunch of them and we're gonna stick them onto the wall so it's kind of like wallpaper but it's actually not wallpaper at all. So I got a bunch of these kind of neutral looking rainbows and we're gonna be sticking them onto this wall. So I think first we need some blue tack and we're gonna work out where we wanna put them but the color turned out really nice. I think it's gonna look really good. Stars when you walk in the room There's no right, such the blue thing tack gonna kind of figure out where we want this before it becomes permanent and the sticker <laughs> goes on there. <laughs> How high do you reckon? It's sort of like six rows. Six rows. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we should go on the block. <laughs> That's our guide. So like here. But no, 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 wait. Beep, it's on. Permanent. Get the beep off! <laughs> Okay, one hour and one smoothie later, we've now blue tacked them to the wall. I think this is the final decision, right? Well, we need to lock it in because once it's on... And once it's on, it's on. So now it's the scary part. We're going to now start uh, sticking them on the wall. Schlep, schlep. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. First sticker. They say, oh, it's like putting on a screen protector on a phone, which is, everyone knows is the easiest thing to put on. <laughs> I feel like I need your finger here for our amazing measurements that okay. we do. So then I know that that was the middle at the bottom, so I'm gonna pull this away from your finger. Okay. Keep your finger there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna move it all. Okay, I'm scared. Okay. Oh my God, I'm shaking. You said a 45 degree angle, what's that mean? No, oh, it's not even hard. No. <laughs> awesome. You can even bubble. Yay! Okay, okay I'm good. Landed it straight. Yeah. That's Let's awesome. <laughs> good work. Okay, time to do the whole wall. Making her bed for the first time. I've been wanting to see what this looks like on it. I suppose we are a few weeks early, but. Well, yeah, and also I still need to wash them and put a mattress protector down, but this is gonna look so cute! Now for the chest of drawers. I have been waiting for so long to finally have a chest of drawers because we have been collecting and accumulating quite a lot of baby clothes and now I finally have a place 
place where I can start organising it. If we grab this from Ikea, it's actually quite nice. Look at yeah. it does the... <laughs> <laughs> this Classic, Classic Ikea. Classic Ikea, wait, you go... There we oh, go. Maybe it's just the long ones. I did not expect that though from Ikea. Ready? One more time, it's kind of fun. <laughs> Oh. I need to do it harder. There you, there you go. go. Wait, wait, wait. Before we do the clothes, do you want to get her little toy box? Oh, yes. And we were also thinking, because now we have her chest of drawers, because we weren't sure, like, the size of the room and how everything was going to fit. But now we're thinking we can actually get a chair here. So this can be, like, where I put the breastfeeding chair. I'm being the chair. <laughs> and then we'll, like, move that down to fit in. So I think we need to go get a chair. And, yes, we have a little toy box that we need to build. So, this was actually like a last minute purchase. We saw this. In Target. Target. Well, we did see, so there was this really cute toy box that we saw in a shop for $500. We're for like, a toy nah. Box. <laughs> and so I was like, well, that's a cute idea, but I'm not spending $500 on a toy box. And then we saw this one for like, I think it's just over 50 bucks in Target. Which I was shocked because like, usually Kmart has like the, the cool stuff. Yeah, but Target's been actually having such nice things. So, the only thing is it's flat pack, so we have to... So we just have to build Another it. thing to build. Looks good. Now we just need some toys because I actually don't think we have anything to put in it. But... <laughs> We're the worst parents. <laughs> we have some hangers and a basket. Looking good. We just wanted to say a huge thank you as this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is an amazing all-in-one platform where you can easily create a website or blog of your past travels. Before we even started flying the nest, we actually created a blog to show off our past travels to our friends and family. Using Squarespace, you can geotag your blog post with the location of your holidays, present your travel photos in a gallery using professional, customizable portfolio designs that really show off your travel snaps. Using their inbuilt powerful blogging tools, you can share updates, insert your videos, and schedule your posts to make sure you're sharing the story you want to tell. Go check out squarespace.com for your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, make sure you head to our URL below to save 10% off your first website or domain. Now let's head back to the video. I can't believe this came. I cannot believe it either. Oh, I was scared then I that I'd cut it, but it's all good. <laughs> So we decided to buy a rocking chair on Amazon and we had no idea when it was going to come but it randomly came quite quickly. It's looking good. This oh, is like yeah. a gamble. I'm not used to buying things online that's like a, that's furniture. a big purchase. Yes, because usually I want to see it in person. Oh, look at that. What a little rocking chair. It's going to be a little rocking chair. That looks cool. Yeah. Okay, I think we need to build this thing. Another day of building. <laughs> Oh, that's the instructions. <laughs> Another Tetris piece. So those are the two sides. And then we've got the back. And then where's the... Oh yeah, this is the back. Oh, that's cute. It has a little like... Oh, cool. So then where's the seat? And no, and no screws. <laughs> Joker was meant to come in two boxes. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> so we can't have half a chair right now. Um, so no screws and no seat. Maybe it is meant to come in two. Yeah, maybe it is. Okay, well, today we are not building the armchair. <laughs> So it has been a couple of days since we last saw you and a few things have changed. First of all, we did order a rug online and that did come in all its pieces. So this is our nice little rug that we got. We also went and bought some floating shelves from Ikea. They were only like $20. And so we popped two here that we're going to fill up with books and stuff and then one over here. But now we are going to decorate the walls. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, we put a couple of screws in the walls. So now, let's you, start hanging. Do you want to grab the pieces? It'll help you get together when you're feeling alone Make you feel happy, remind you of home Make you want to get up, get out and go Look at what love can do So special, a girl called 
Ashley, who watches our videos, actually drew this when we announced that we were pregnant and we loved it so much we asked her if we could get a high quality version so we could print it in our nursery and we finally have it like look how good that is i know if you guys remember the photo we took on the beach like it literally looks like it us looks so she's good. such I a good illustrator it. like the moment i saw it i was like this has to go in the nursery so i suck at hanging up <laughs> yay oh it looks so cute Oh yeah, and then I have something for up here. Wait. And as Jess grabs that, as you can see, we've taken one of the IKEA floating shelves and flipped them upside down. So one can be for books and then one. Oh, we've got some of her outfits out. Can be to yeah. hang some of her stuff. And then this is a little plant pot, which I thought was so cute. So I'm gonna get one of those little plants that like hang down a little bit. And I thought I'm gonna use this top as my changing table. So I went and got a changing thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then in the top drawers, that's where I'm gonna keep her like nappies and stuff. So then at night when we change it, we have like a little spot where she can go. I think it's time to show you all the clothes that we've collected over the last eight months. The first thing I want to show you is when we first found out we were pregnant, we got excited and we ordered some clothes online. And you can clearly tell what gender we thought we were having. I just always pictured us having a little boy. So we were calling it gender neutral autumn colors, but you can totally tell we thought it was going to be a little boy. <laughs> like, look at this. And even this, I mean, this is a cool like mustard, but it's a very... Like, I don't know, like, we got a lot of blues and deep rich colors, which she's still going to look super cute in because chuck on a bow. Yeah. Say it's autumn, and I think they look quite cute. But you know what's funny is that the moment we found out we were having a little girl, we then did another little shop and the clothes look completely different. Like we went and got this little onesie. That's the, so oh, cute. We got these little like little bloomer pants. <laughs> they go over her nappy and then Stephen went and got excited and picked out a swimsuit. This one we got over on the east coast in Australia. So cute. I cannot wait to put her in all of these but it's just funny to see like the first things we bought to the second things we bought. Seeing as we're having our little girl during the winter months, Best and Less is awesome if you're looking for little jumper and tracksuit pants, if you're looking for cute affordable onesies and then they also have these little knitted jumpers with matching bloomers. So it's a great place if you wanted to stockpile a bunch of different outfits. Another brand I love is Mian and & Co. And at the moment they have the cutest autumnal wintry looking colors. Like look at this color scheme. Wow. So cute. So I've got like a couple of jumpers and cute little knitted pants. And then as the weather gets a little bit warmer over here, I've even got little dresses and stuff like that. Oh, I can't wait to see her in these. So we wanted to find some cute outfits that she could wear when we start traveling again. So we knew it would be when she's a little bit older and summer. And we found this brand called By Billy and they have really cool, they're kind of like matching t-shirts and shorts. Like look at these shorts. <laughs> and then they come with a matching t-shirt. I cannot wait to dress her up <laughs> on our travels. We've got way too much stuff. So if you're looking for a place that does really nice swaddles and head bows, blankets and bassinet and cot sheets, I really, really like Snuggle Honey Kids. And this was another thing that the first thing we bought when we found out we were having her was there's this little hat with lemons on it and it also comes with a matching lemon swaddle. I feel like if you're looking for swaddles that you want to take photos of your baby in, Snuggle Honey Me, they have the most beautiful stuff. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. This is what happens <laughs> when you have a very excited grandma. <laughs> <laughs> so, unfortunately, my mum and dad, they live on the other side of Australia. And at the moment, all the state borders are closed. So they can't fly to meet the baby, which really, really sucks. And my mum, like for the last eight months, has been buying so many clothes and was so, so excited to give it to me. But because she can't come here for it, she um, posted out all the clothes and I think it's like 11 or 12 kilos full of clothes like look at this box it is just full to the brim of baby clothes <laughs> like, can you see this this is insane it's full absolutely full of clothes this is going to take so long to put away but I think one of the most special things that she did was she also didn't just buy things for me she knitted some things like a full-on grandma <laughs> except my mom wants to be called Mima so like a full-on Mima so first she needed like this blanket which is like a smaller one that can go in the, go in the pram or go in the bassinet or wrap her up in and then she also knitted a matching massive blanket like look at this that's so cool I don't know how long it took her not only that I didn't even know mum could knit this kind of thing <laughs> she knitted me like little matching shoes like little booties 
she knitted little hand mittens. Wait, where are they? Yeah, she knitted little hand mittens. So cute. And a little hat. And what's even cuter is that she went on eBay and found that you could make your own um, kind of like tags, like clothes, and it says handmade by Mima. <laughs> and that's on all of them. There's so many things, like even more. There's like more little booties. Like all of this she hand knitted, which is so special. And I feel like this is one of like the first things that I want to put on her. And all these little knitted things. And I love them because it looks so handmade and so from grandma. And it's, it's so, so cute. my mum. So <laughs> Mima. <laughs> so about two months ago, we actually went shopping. I bought some essential things for the baby. And a bunch of you wanted to see what I got. And one of the things, actually our friend gifted this to us. Um, this is one of those baby wraps where you can wrap a baby onto you. And it's just a giant piece of material. We have no idea how to use it. And I really want Stephen to try and put it on right now. What? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Jess? Okay, I just want to the video so let me see if I can work it out also this is gonna be our baby <laughs> <laughs> okay so first you need to find like the little thing that says Moby yeah I see it okay I were practicing this with a bunny first yes I thought we definitely need to have a bunny trial okay. you're kind of my guess my um guinea pig because I couldn't really do it because my belly was in the way looking good yeah Okay, and then remember, and then you have to tuck this down into this. Both of them? Yes. We oh, should, it's looking good! We should do like our jumping off the plane stress. Oh, <laughs> no, that would be great! Quickly, we've just jumped off the plane. There's 20 people behind you. I want to go. I need to emigrate. What's taking so long? Get, get you up close to the camera now that we kind of got you ready. Maybe do like a little spin so they can see how to put it on. <laughs> and now we've got the bunny, okay. which is the baby. Which is the baby. And it's crying. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped the face! <laughs> and then I think you don't smother the face though, maybe have it on the side or something. But then there's the little gappy thingies. I'm just gonna have to practice this like 50 million times. And then uh, you covered like crow. super quick. And then it was the one that was going under, hey? Yeah. So we put her little foot in here. And then, no, she can't. And another huh? butt, her other foot goes in this side. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so okay. It's like over her little booty. She's pretty big ears. Over. She got her from you. Oh, thanks. Do you feel like a dad now? Yeah, now I can go um, do what? my housework. <laughs> <laughs> Is she breathing? <laughs> Let me see. Oh, you look so cute. <laughs> if we're talking about essentials, this is the most essential. We've never seen newborn diapers before. And we've been excited to see what these look like. 160 nappies. How long do you reckon that's gonna last us? What, 160 days? So, pretty good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is one of what many boxes we're gonna be opening up in her lifetime. Oh, oh wow, that's a lot of nappies. Oh my gosh, Stevie, they're so little. <laughs> Wait. Oh. So these are size one, whatever that means. Maybe the smaller size. Luckily, we had a friend come with us who has two babies, so she um, helped us choose out things. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Oh my god, so little. Oh, look, it says back and front, I think. Back? Oh, yeah. So that'll help. Oh. So we've got the Huggies one because they have a little line on them that's yellow, and I think the line changes color when it's wet. To what? I don't know what color, but I know it's weird how it starts off as yellow, right? Should just start off with like how white. How little are these? Oh my god, they're so cute, Steve. That is really cute. They're cute until they stink and are full of things that we don't want to see. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely don't know what I'm talking about yet, but I know I want to breastfeed, haven't had any classes or any real knowledge, but I have bought a few things. One including a breast pump, which um, I'm excited to try out. <laughs> Let's have a look at it. It looks kind of complicated. Where's the actual pumpy thing? I know you guys are going to want to see what this looks like. Oh, I see. So you connect it to a bottle. This is kind of fun. Is that weird? Um, yeah, especially because of the use of it. Oh, to feed the baby. <laughs> and that's to extract the juices for the baby. Oh, there you go. Uh, a little breast pump. Demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also went and got um, breast bag breast milk storage bags to store all the breast milk and the reason that I did want to pump sometimes is that in the middle of the night if I really need to sleep Stephen can feed 
And also it's kind of nice because then you can experience what it's like to feed as well. Yeah. It's just me. So it'd be nice to store up a bit of breast milk. And I went and got some bottles. So I've got like, these are the bottles for when she's a newborn. And this is bottles for when she's three months old. And I went and got like something to clean the bottles and liquid cleanser, which is meant to be like safe to use for babies to clean baby stuff. And I even got a microwave steam sterilizer to put the bottles in to sterilize them. I really don't want her to get sick. And the last thing that I guess goes into the whole breastfeeding section is I also picked up some of the cutest dummies ever. Like look at these, I think the brand's called Bibs. And this was a pack of three and look how cute the colors are. I heard that like babies, they, they can be fussy on what like dummies they take. So I'm hoping she takes these because they're so cute and these are the only ones I've bought so far. Um, but that's everything I've got where it comes to like feeding. So next up is the things that I, I'm calling this the cleanliness section. So we did get her the cutest bathtub ever. So you're meant to use it from, I think you can actually like transitions as she ages. So it's in the shape of a whale. That's probably what sold us. <laughs> and um, there's three stages. So there's a way you use it when she's zero to three months and then three to six months and then six plus. Um, I think that that's how you use it maybe when it's a newborn. I'm not too sure. You're probably going to see this the first time we ever bathe her and then we'll, uh, I'm sure we'll work it out from there. Also, I went and got some body wash for her. I went with the brand Thank You because it's like um, a natural ingredient brand. So this is the baby wash I got. And then I went and got her son Nappy Balm from the brand, same brand. And if we ever wanted to have like a baby spa pamper day, I went and got like a little baby massage oil. How <laughs> cute is that? This baby spoil. Baby <laughs> I don't know. spa like, day? I just thought it would be a really cute idea. And then we went and got her a towel. And we got the one this where it really has... This is really cute. So cute. It's the one that has like the little hood that goes over her head. It's and a it's little a bear. bear. So cute. And then I just got little matching washers to wash her with. And then we got some baby laundry detergent, which is meant to be baby safe to wash baby's clothes and pooey things, right? <laughs> and then this was really cheap. It was like a pack of 12. Oh, by the way, I got all of this from Baby Bunting here in Australia, which I'm sure they have like the, in like America and Europe. They'll, you have your own little, you know, big, cheap baby store, but ours is called Baby Bunting. I picked up a cheap packet of 12 kind of like little towels that you can use as like birth cloths or wiping up things that are super cheap. You can just chuck them in the wash whenever they get dirty. I also went and got mattress protectors for the bassinet and for the cot. So we can put this underneath to try and save the mattress for any um, spillage. So we've got those. Spillage? And then, I don't know, something comes out of a nappy in the middle of the night. You don't want it to go into the mattress. What? So mattress protectors. Yes, I told you, you're on nappy duty. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> And then I just went and got a lot of baby wipes. So I got one that's like in a little packet that I can take around with me when we go out of the house. And then I have this box that I can reuse. So I'm gonna keep storing the, just like you can like re-put baby wipes in the box. And then I went and got a pack of 480 baby wipes. Again, not sure how, much, how long this is meant to last, but I'm hoping it lasts a while. Um, so that is everything we got under like cleanliness. And then our next little section is medical stuff. So I went and got a thermometer, but this one you can actually put up towards their forehead and it's meant to take their temperature. So then if they're sleeping and you want to take their temperature, you're not going to wake them up in the middle of the night. So I got that. I got some baby safe nail clippers because I heard their nails grow really fast and it's really easy for them to scratch themselves. So hopefully these work well. I went and got, this is something that my friend recommended. This is the lanolin, lanolin? thing that you put on your nipples when they're sore. Oh, oh great. Breastfeeding. I know, but she said it's really, really good stuff because your, your nipples can get all like cracked and stuff like that. So that is the um, cream that I've been recommended. I also were rec was recommended pseudo cream for the baby's bum to stop nappy rash. So I got that. Show um, the duck. I want to oh, yeah, see the, the duck. Oh yeah, the duck is cute. So this is actually a little duck that you put in the bathtub and it's a thermometer. So it tells you the temperature of the water, which I'm actually not sure what it's meant to be for babies. So we have to look that up, but you can actually check the temperature of the water before you put the baby in. I went and got, <laughs> so babies can't blow their nose, which what? you don't think about actually until someone goes, so how are you going to get the boogers out of the baby's nose? And this is basically like, <laughs> like a nasal, they call it a nasal aspirator. So this is what we're going to be using to de-snot the baby. And I also got some saline nail sp nasal spray, which I guess you just pop up there to help them um, with nasal congestion. And then the last thing that people have been recommending is this thing called Infant's Friend Oral Liquid, and it's meant to help with colic and wind. So it's like a little drop that you can give them if they're getting like a really upset tummy. And I still think I need to get some like 
baby Panadol and stuff. I'm not too sure, but this is all I've got so far for medical. So hopefully this is um, all we need for the moment. So this is something Stephen chose. I want to show I, this one off. Yeah, you you chose well. I remember like when we looked, when I looked in my parents' bookcase, we would have like a baby book, which is kind of cool because it's kind of like your first thing about you. And yes, this is our little baby book that we kind of want to fill in stuff. I started filling it in. You did? Yeah. Oh, cool. So they ask you, I need to start putting pictures in, but it's quite a cute one. So they ask you first about your pet, like about the parents. So I filled in your page and my page, we just need to put a picture in. And then this will be about my siblings, but she has no siblings. And then about the grandparents, I wrote about your dad and your mum, and then we need a picture. And then my dad and my mum, and I need a picture. We're thinking of maybe like putting the picture after we've taken a photo of the person with, with the, baby. the baby. That's why I thought that could be quite cute. And then like aunties and uncles, I'll put all those down. And then I think they ask questions about like the first nine months. So I wrote what the first nine months has been like. Hmm. So I wrote, this pregnancy has been so much easier than I'd expected. I barely have any morning sickness and managed to still travel to 18 countries all while having you chilling in my belly. That's you, crazy. You're a little ninja and kick so much, especially when we were on a plane. <laughs> So that's what I wrote. And then the rest of it will be filled out as she goes because then we take pictures of like the birth and then I think it like goes through milestones. So it goes through each month. It, the brand is called Right To Me. Oh, cool. That's, I think it's really cute. I love how it comes in the box. So that's a good one. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys was my hospital bag and my nappy bag. Cause that is something else I got. And I think then that's everything. If I've forgotten anything, let me know because I'm sure there are still things that we need, but I'm sure we'll learn along the way really. But um, yeah, I've got two bags. They're both by Fawn Design. I still need to take all the little tags off and stuff, but this is gonna be my nappy bag. And you can actually, it's quite cool because you can hold it and it also comes with, I still need to put it together, but it comes with a strap, but also you can turn it into a backpack. So they actually have the little straps here. Yes, yeah, so you can actually make it into a backpack, which I really like. And then inside there's little compartments. So I need to fill it all up and then I'll show you. But yeah, this is, inside. Can my drone the, fit in there when we go traveling? Your drone probably could fit in there <laughs> around her nappies. And then I have this bag which is like a way bigger bag and this is going to be my hospital bag. And it's quite nice because I feel like you could use this again as your like carry-on on a plane and stuff like that. So I'm soon going to be filling this up with a bunch of stuff for when we go to the hospital which I probably need to fill up kind of soon. Yep. I'm kind of due in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> breast pillow thingy out. Looks good. I know, I feel like we just need like a little stool here. I'm gonna put my feet up. Yeah, a little And I'll be ready. Side, little side table. table. My coffee, my cold coffee. That's not gonna spill on the baby. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we did pretty good. I mean, compared to what it looked like before, I'm very happy. Now she just needs to come. Now she just needs to come. Alright, thanks so much guys. I hope you enjoyed this little nursery vlog. If you're new around here, make sure you hit subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video.